This brand new Etsy store is making $20,000 per month on two month old listings, selling digital backdrops that photographers use in their photo shoots. This is unheard of for a brand new store. So how is she doing this? If you type in digital backdrops on Etsy, this one person is taking up the entire first page. She doesn't really have any competition. So this is a completely untapped market that I'm gonna show you exactly how to get into. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a similar six figure business from creating the backdrop ideas, generating high quality images, and selling the final products online, all with the power of AI tools like ChatGPT and Midjourney. If you've never been early to anything in your entire life, make sure you watch the entire video because this is valuable content that I can guarantee you, you won't find anywhere else. By using a powerful tool like Everbee, we can take a look and see exactly how much this store is making per month on these listings. It's important that we identify the listings that are top performers so we can start our business with something similar. So here you can see that this is a two month old listing making $1,975 per month. This one is also two months old making $2,470 dollars per month. And we have another one that's only a month old making $1,288 and the list goes on with this store. She is completely dominating this space right now making almost $700 per day on a brand new store. I'm still amazed by this. One of her most popular backdrops are these suspended gold rings. They seem to be very popular with maternity photos so we are going to give this a shot and see what happens. If you're finding any of this information useful so far please hit the like button so that I know that you're enjoying this free content. The image Images that you see here were all created using the AI tool Midjourney, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So initially, I tried using ChatGPT4 to generate prompts for the images that I wanted in Midjourney. The results were good, but they weren't exactly what I was looking for for this listing. So I simplified the prompt down to the keywords that described the rings, and the results were much better. Here's a quick snapshot of the prompt that I used to get the results that I found to work for me. Once I found a prompt that worked, I simply copied and pasted the prompt again and change the color keyword. Now that we have 10 images that we like, we just wanna create an example of what these would actually look like with real people. Since these are popular with maternity photos, we're gonna use Midjourney to generate a picture of a pregnant woman in a white dress. Once we have the image, we'll take that over to Canva and we'll remove the background. Then add the digital backdrop. This will give our customers the best idea of what their photos could actually look like. We will also create a quick page that has an example of every halo ring the customer will get in their download so they can see it all at once before they purchase. So we need to upscale the images just in case our customers want to print these at a larger scale. The images will still be high resolution. So you'll hit upload and then 2x and download. Put all of your upscaled images into a folder. Here I've added a PDF document with brief instructions on how to use the backdrops as well as a few disclaimers for the customer to take note of. The last step is to turn this into something that the customers can download when they purchase this from our Etsy store in a zip file. To create this you'll just select all the files in the folder and then right click. Then you'll hit compress. So this will create an archive zip folder that we will upload to our Etsy store that will include everything that we highlight. Now we're finally ready to make the Etsy listing. So we'll start by uploading a few photos, then we'll add the title. The title is the most important part of the listing because this is going to be really where all the SEO comes from, which is how we're going to get ranked on the first page. And this is how we're going to get a lot of organic traffic. So once you have that, then you'll make sure that you scroll down and select that this is a digital product. Then you'll add a description. The next part is to actually upload the digital file. Here we'll select the zip file from the computer. Now sometimes you will get this error if the file is too big. In this case we're going to have to use Dropbox but we can use the free version. So you'll hit upload and then select the zip file from the computer. Once it uploads you'll create a link for the file. Take that link and copy it into a PDF document. This is the document that our customers will receive when they purchase the item. So they will open this and they will click the link that will take them to the Dropbox box account where they can actually download the zip file for all of the rings. Once you have the PDF created, you'll go ahead and upload it to the listing, finish filling out the rest of the listing, and we've officially launched our first product using AI tools. So the key to making a lot of money on Etsy is to just make sure you focus on a lot of listings. You don't need to focus on trying to hit it big and making thousands per month on one listing. That's not really realistic. So what you need to focus on is having dozens of listings that are making just a couple hundred dollars per month. And if you can do that, then you're gonna be making thousands of dollars per month before you even know it. This is a completely untapped niche, so it's a great time to get into something like digital backdrops. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more ways on how to make money online. And don't forget to check out this video here on five digital products that you can make using AI tools, and I'll see you over there.